We've got two Friday night games that are fascinating, Ari. We'll start in Las Vegas. Boise State at UNLV. Four first place in the Mountain West. Boise State is a two and a half point favorite. I'm just going to throw two stats at you because I think whatever winds up happening with these stats will tell the story of this game. UNLV is only allowing three and a half yards per carry on the ground. Ashton Genty is averaging 9.9 yards per carry. Whoever's closer to their average is winning this game. Yeah, this is the most interesting G5 game of the year, right? Um, so far. I, are you surprised by the, the point total here or the spread? Sorry. Um, like, did you think that Boise was going to be lying more? No. No, you know, he's good. Like, you know, yeah. he's played good defense all year and their offense is explosive and 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 tricky to stop and it's a it's a change up compared to what most offenses look like like because you have to deal with the option principles and you have to be very disciplined defensively to slow them down so i'm not surprised that the spread is close here i expected it to be close i just the the question that we have to ask ourselves is how good do we think ashton genty is like is he going to do that cuz we saw him do it against oregon so i think he can do it against UNLV too and I think that's that's where I come down on this game, Ari, is I think Ashton Genty is going to have an Ashton Genty game. Boise's defense is going to be good enough to slow UNLV down enough, and they'll win the game. Yeah. It is interesting because, like, as I'm doing bubble watch um, and as you're doing bracketology and just basically anybody who's projecting what the field's going to look like, I think that there's been this general assumption that Boise is just going to do it, right? Like they're just going to be the 12 seed. They're going to get in and they're going to. And then I look at the spread here and it's like, you know, UNLV really could win this game. Like really, really of could course. win this game. Yeah. Uh, and this is I thought also the spread was going to be two. And I, I thought the spread was going to be like seven. So like when I saw that it was. You know, and maybe that means that Boise State is six points better because the game's in Vegas. But, like, it's just, this seems like almost like a trap spot to me. I think that a lot of people are just going to assume that because Boise has Ashton Genty and played well with Oregon um, and could have beaten, maybe should have beaten Oregon, that this team is just going to beat the crap out of UNLV. And I, like, I, I don't know that I think that. The other thing UNLV does is sometimes score special teams touchdowns or blocks punts or, like, blocks uh field goals like they, they are they're a very complete team and i think that's the that's why this spread is so close but again ashton genty is doing something that we've never seen before and the question is do you think he can continue it and so that's where i come down is i am saying i think boise state's gonna win and cover because ashton genty is going to have an ashton genty game So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to take, like, it's like you have to think, like, do you think that Ricky White and Haj Malik Williams is a better combo than Ashton Genty? Like, that's kind of like what you have to do here. Like, what's going to win out, the pass or the run? Um, Like, my gut is, or my head says Boise State. My head says Boise State. I think everyone's head says Boise State, but my gut's telling me that there's something about this. I'm going to pick UNLV here in this Woo! spot. I think, I think that UNL, like, listen. If Ashton Genty just rushes for 300 yards or 250 yards and four touchdowns like he does every week, then like it is what it is. I do think that there has to be a regression to the mean of some sort, right? Like, or, or do you think that he can hey, just he did, average he, 11 yards? The Hawaii carry? game cost him like a yard off his average. Yeah, because well, he's only averaging like 9.6 in that game rather than like, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I like, do you think that Ashton Genty is so otherworldly as a, as a player that? a team can't hold him to four yards of carry. Like, I don't think UNLV can do it. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm going to go UNLV because I think that this is like a, it feels like a trappy line to me because uh, three is such a or two and a half is so like automatic, I think for people and Boise is probably going to get the lion's share of the action. And I just think that UNLV may be a lot better all around than people are giving them credit for. Uh, and at home in a game where, uh, you know, they are three weeks removed from a heartbreaker against Syracuse. Like, I think this might be a, a tough spot for Boise and certainly uh, think this is going to be the first two times they play each other. I'm going to go. I, I can't wait to see it. Friday's going to be awesome. 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 
See, like this I is, got this is it right here. Like this is it. Double O'Neal. Yeah, I, if you I just think drinking UNLV, you're I, smoking crack, dude. Like I think that like that's how the public feels about this. Yeah, but and with this that spread, has never watched a UNLV game this season. Has not watched a single one. So doesn't know. I, I guarantee you, anybody there, there are going to be so many people with strong opinions about this game who have never watched either team play. Yeah, they've seen the highlights from Genty, and they're great. But like UNLV is a pretty well-rounded team who makes good special teams plays. Ricky White is somebody that I've put in my top ten for the Heisman. Have you given him consideration? Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So like, yeah, and I don't think people re- Barry Odom is a yet. great defensive coach. Like, yeah, he can scheme a team up. And we've seen UNLV shut teams down. But I think Ashton Genty is just otherworldly. So that's why I'm taking Boise State. You are taking UNLV. I cannot wait for that game on Friday night.